12 hours at the airport. Fuck this shit, man. I deserve to finally walk here. Yeah, boy. <laughs> the water's perfect, the temperature, everything. Let's have a dip then, shall we? <laughs> Let's go. Man, the feel surreal. Such a long journey. Finally behind us. I've <laughs> like two hours of sleep. <laughs> Fuck me. Having spent the night at Athens airport, I wasn't in the best conditions to start this trip. But that didn't matter to me, I was just happy to be. The island combines sandy shores with rocky mainland and a lot to unravel in between. We had an entire week ahead of us, exploring whatever places we could find. I already made a good impression on the locals and my first climb. we arrived, apparently a nearby farmer spotted me climbing the old aqueduct and he didn't like what he was seeing. First little climb of many. After a little warm up, we headed back to the car to drive to a chapel on the mountain and watch the night rise from there. Most of my time has been contemplating on how different things would be if I had ounces more of patience. Anger's contagious, I don't want to get sick, so I'm taking my leave. I know I won't be missed. You don't have to rub it in with As soon as we parked on the side of the road, my eyes just locked onto the scenery, specifically on a rock formation just waiting to be climbed. I couldn't miss this opportunity. Found this insane setup right there. So that is the plan. Just don't die. Come
finished the day, we drove to a tavern in a small village not far away. Honestly, if you haven't been to Greece, then you are missing out on the food there. It's incredible. Hello. Cats all around. Hey, stop. It's my bag. Finally back in our room. That was one hell of a trip. But uh, we made it. Had some nice adventures today. See what tomorrow is holding up for us. But first, let's get the full eight hours of rest. Man, I'm fucked. <laughs> the total sleeping at the airport thing. Very, very tired. See you tomorrow. I finally got to rest since the last 48 hours, and so I could start the second day with a lot more energy. Woke up around 3-4 hours ago, so this is a bit late, but better late than never, I guess. We're gonna head into the city, get some supplies, that's the plan. So we got the food and water to keep us going over the coming days. Being spontaneous in my travels, I decided to explore the south that day talk to the locals and just be all around curious of what was there to find. Once you're inside one of these ancient villages, it's a complete change in atmosphere. It feels like a maze with every turn you take leading deeper into its core. The sun doesn't burn down on you anymore, but a cool breeze flows through the alleyways instead. Always a nice place to take a break in. We are now in one of the many Mastix farms. This is actually the only island where this tree grows and the tree sap can be harvested to be made into the Mastix. You probably haven't heard of the product, but it's used in hygiene products. You can eat it, kind of similar to chewing gum. It's also used in plain wheels, I think. So yeah, a high variety product. This is the tree sap, it's harvested. I uh, filmed some of the inside of the village. It's very interesting. The way they built it was a method to protect the citizens living in the village from uh, the, I think, Turkish barbarians or whatever, ancient times. Nowadays it's just kind of confusing, but also very nice when it's a hot day and you can just rest in the shade. Well, now we're heading to um, a beach that basically only has black stones looks very nice and uh, see where we're going from here 
Standing on that rock, looking out over the sea, was the time I mentally arrived there. Stress was gone and I could enjoy it all to the fullest, right then and there. thing left for today was some tastiest food at the tavern. Great days with days to come, venturing through this place. Come on, my friend, come back to me. Yeah, I took a break for a minute, I had to chill. Focus my vision, now there's things that I have to build. Like brick and mortar bit by bit, demolishing shit that doesn't fit with my life. It's time to remodel the crib, chandeliers to shine light on all of the problems I miss. Fill the void with flowers, make joy from a bottomless pit. Sick of harboring shit, it's making me heart sick. Cleaning all the cigarette burns about it.